but there's so much opportunities in technology. There's so much even on the of technology. The technology has given a platform even for business, you see, for creativity and so much. But the youths have decided to take the shortcut. I can use this one to, you know, like hold somebody at ransom and get what I want and then go my own. At this point, it's benefit to the elderly because they're employing us to do it for them. For instance, I, I know a lot of people who are pushing to do it and they are elderly. So on, uh, on a single day, they have um, very important messages they are passing. And they are elderly. And who's doing that for them? The young person. The young who's been employed and is getting like a hundred book a day to push to do it for this guy. So if you look at it uh, from a point of benefiting us, I think it has become you know, a, a, a platform where we want to use the persons who are employing us. And so we, we go there and uh, do all our, our, our stuff there. And at the end of the day, we don't have anything. And then the person who we are using, we are giving them more credit because we are making them again better. We are making them you know, gain more popularity. And at the end of the day, they are making more money. They, they are growing. But they are so we continually lose. lose. Yeah, we continually lose. We have lost for the longest time. So unless and until we have this student to you know, talk to us and rebrand ourselves for the technology, I think until then we will never be able to do it. Yeah, thank you. Personally, of course, after finishing my course, uh, I enjoyed the leadership and uh, used the technology that we will get to influence across the region, internationally. We normally get uh, opportunities in the leadership conferences through technology. Yes. So just matter of being to the opportunity desk. Then you find the conference that are, are available, then you click one that you feel like, then you attend, then you meet youths, so you network. So in terms of networking, technology has really helped. But in terms of creating employment, again, it has done so. You have just had the mention, the getting of 500 shillings after doing something. It's actually a plus. Without the technology, they could not be getting the hundred shillings. <laughs> oh, the, the, the hundred shillings that the youths are getting it's comes off low key. Okay. It's making a difference, which is the best way to go. That's better. <laughs> we can do better, yeah, we can do better but at least we are starting from something. So we we first of all appreciate the hundred shillings. Exactly. Then, then we see how we can increase that. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, so we all agree that technology is creating um, a wide space to to create whatever we want to create and, and and basically just help us to get to the next level in terms of empowering ourselves economically, even politically and stuff like that. Because there is no politician in this country that I know that is also on social media. Whether he is he or she is the one doing it or somebody else is doing it. On payroll. But but talking about let's let's come back home. There is this monster called the Elgon Hub. Let's talk about that. What is this Elgon Hub thing? From what perspective? It's, it's, it's the conversation that has been in social media and uh, 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 in main forums that we have a space called Elgon Hub in Transoya. And, and um, I can bet that 90% of the beneficiaries of this idea have no idea what it is. So let me just get your comments. Uh, I think Elgon whereby members should turn it into something that will bring them a coin. But even they the members are supposed up, to be incubated. <laughs> they, need, that's a little harsh. they need to come up with activities. They should not be waiting upon someone to create an activity for them so that they can benefit. They need to come up with incentives and turn them into a hub as it's been. So to say. It's a hub. A hub means it's a pool of many opportunities. Okay. And the uh, for me coming to place, it was a nice idea. But the Mze was was right to do the elbow thing. But as it is now what they are running, they are running a shared space where youth can do something and the space is free paid by the county. But initially it was supposed to be an incubation center, idea incubation. But now where Mze went wrong, I don't know whether it's the Mze. Okay, Mze I mean it was the Yes, the governor. Governor. yes. I don't know whether it's the governor who chose the leadership that was there. 
or it is the youth who chose. But at one point they went wrong because I look at them and I see age mates. So they're running this thing like an, a, 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 a Rika thing. You know this age mate thing? You know, there is nothing literally you can do. You can, you can do different when you feel the same way. You've been brought up, born and bled in Transway. You went to school along the same time, used the same technology, the same exercise book, and probably shared teachers at one point. So there is nothing different you can do. If they only mixed the age and the diversity, because all the youths don't want to do the training thing. There are some people who have innovative ideas, but I wonder how you can incubate somebody who already even doesn't have an idea, but this person is supposed to incubate you, whereas the person who is helping you incubate your idea is supposed to be incubated first. So the problem of Elgon Hub is the leadership. Okay. They need an incubation first okay. before they start incubating these ideas from the county. Okay. Yes. Others went to Jumbo Pay. Uh -huh. Others went to uh, Nai. Is it yes. Nai or Nai Lab? Nai Lab. Yes. I was part of the team that went to Nai Lab. Okay. And what I saw in Nai Lab should be put in place here. That's what the, the idea was all about. Mm -hmm. But again, I think the county government is frustrating the people in place in terms of giving them resources that they need to equip the, the facility. Okay. But the idea of coming up with the IHUB, Elgon Hub for Transoya County, it's one of the best for the, for the youth. But again, the thing should be owned by the youth. Like the management, let the youths elect their own managers okay. to run that, that thing. Okay. But those people who came up with the idea, we can allow two or three to be part of the management team, but not the entire. Okay. Not the entire. Maybe, maybe, maybe are connected. programs. You see, they don't have programs. In fact, when you ask them, what are you up to? Who they will tell you. come up with programs? I them. Think they them. need to be uh, resourceful enough. No, they, that's what I'm saying. Yes. The government is not supporting them. No. They have been denied funds. You cannot come up with the programs when you do not have fun. But you know, maybe well, for me I will say go, this. And go, I will, okay. the, the county government gave birth to them. They are not imagining themselves again insulting yeah. the person who is supposed to. Yeah. And at one point, the leadership is somehow working on getting employed. Yeah. So you see, these are very bad people, or so to say, to be the ones running the initiative because yeah. they are looking for employment. Yeah. So how do you incubate me first when you are looking for a salary somewhere? And then we are advocating and advancing somebody's idea. Okay. You understand? Okay. The problem was when this Elgon have came to place, they hand picked specific people that already are already fixed and tied to somebody. 
So there are some youth who are sh shining away, not because they don't want to be associated with that work, but because they imagine like, uh, that is Haemba's cash cow. To be specific, that's what people are thinking. So kuna wale youth who mefungi wa nje, amu wa mejifungi because they imagine like, it, it is somebody's cash cow, when it is not. And I will say this, an innovation hub is not supposed to be funded as per se by the county government. Mumesema vizuri sana youth, ikuunko, national government. Haemba natuwa wapi pesa ya kutukiti. These guys are supposed to be smart enough and innovative enough to get funds from outside. But do they have even the ideas? I, I will ask you, go ask the leadership, or I can ask you. They even have the proposal of how this youth Elgon have came to place and what is their projections, their core objectives. They don't have. They so do. somebody came, then they are not sharing with the right people. Because no, they have money, have not have a proposal My friend, a you don't friend. need money to call Lucy on the table and tell but me what, 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 calling calling people, what I can, you understand, okay. what I can do. But they have been calling people. Who? No. Which no, no, people? No, 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 Trust no. you me, they call, you but they call selected. Take it no. to the bank, they call selected few who <laughs> can listen okay. to them and okay. buy okay. their ideas. You cannot, eh? Yeah. Okay, okay. You okay. cannot. Let, 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 okay, so let me say something, yeah? Yes. You cannot call people on board during the event or an activity. Yes. What Lucy is saying, what Lucy is saying, you bring Lucy on board, to help handle some ideas that will yes. help the entire group. But you do not call yes, Lucy to come and attend an, an event. Okay. That's not okay. okay. Guys, guys, okay. Okay. But okay. Okay. How okay. do you have the same brains handling the same, same thing and expecting different Okay. Now, tell again. Okay. Oh. Who needs them? Me, I, I, I need the Elgon or they need me. Lucy, Lucy, <laughs> let, let's calm down a bit. I, I think I need a fire extinguisher or something like that. But before before we go out of, of, of this conversation, the, the reason why I brought it up is because Elgon Hub is essentially the technology attraction point that is supposed to propel young people of this county to the next level. It is basically a stepping stone. So if this bridge is not serving its purpose, then the young people are sinking right there. Do you understand? So my question would be, how then do we move forward with this Elgon Hub thing? We want to improve on the idea. We want to we want to be part of this. We want to help Transoya young people move to the next level. That is the point. So how do we do it? We can do it in, first in, if we know what the, it is about. You understand? So my question is, yes. have you bothered to find out? You know, for me, I will tell you this. For me, I have been into it. I'm back at Chandari Innovation Center, right? So somehow, I might have overgrown this one. But I wouldn't mind lending a hand. Uh -huh. You know, I'm talking from experience. I think there was a time we were doing a business, Youth Business Summit, year three, year, year, year three days, right? So when I'm talking, I'm talking from an informed point. We did in fact a budget. We were supposed to have a three days business summit just before the election thing and the campaign. We, we were supposed to have youth showcase what they are doing and their ideologies. We were supposed to have people pitch their ideas. We were supposed to have audience of different innovations and having the best. And then the best, we had said, the best, the county government should have some an agreement. Like the best idea gets a prize probably as some. We had tagged some money. And then that idea was supposed to be funded by the government and co-owned by the county government and the youth. We did everything we did up to the budget, but trust you me, somebody ran in that budget, went I think to the county government or whatever, and they like they wanted to own it as a clique. And that's where we sunk as it. We were very vocal. They used to listen to us so much, but that was the shot that killed all of us. Why? Because somebody was imagining like, if I do this, there are other better youth who can come and overtake me and my importance in the system, which is not true. So there is a problem. Let's not say like, you don't have to be in the league. You don't have to be always the best for the youth to be the best. There are people who given a chance are even better than all of us combined, one person. Okay. But we have not given these youths the space to grow. And the leadership also has closed, the county leadership has closed to specific people. Like, if I, I have not seen Ambrose, I have not seen youths. You see, if I have not seen Godri, I have not seen bloggers. Okay. They don't Great. imagine like there Great. exist some people who are better than <laughs> Good. Let uh, with the kind of networks and partners Elgon Hub has attracted, like yes. Infinix, yes. Google, yeah. they should spread their wings and fly away to greatness. Because you, you, you can't tell me that Google is interested in funding you and still stuck 
or you're still stuck to get a headway. Okay. So the Elgon Cup, Elgon Hub guys need to be creative about it. Let them give that blueprint on a proposal that is needed by Google so that they can capitalize on those opportunities. Okay. Awesome. Public participation. Okay. So they go out and try and involve yeah. a little more people. In terms of all functions. You see now you have just heard that someone is an elbow hub but is thinking of lobbying for us. That should be the case. Let them define their goals clearly. You see they are running away. They they are purporting to be the county youth leadership. They are not the county youth leadership. They are <laughs> purely on technology, as Godfrey put it. So if they define their role clearly on technology, that they will go very far. But if they want to come on leadership, nobody has elected them anywhere to represent youths. Okay. Yeah, so they should know. They should, know. They should, know. They should not purport to be the county youth leadership. Okay. They, they should not. That is illegal. Okay. So, so, so uh, very, very clearly, we are talking about uh, taking advantage of the networks they have already attracted and using them to move to the next level. We are talking about um, the kind of leadership that they have that needs to be mixed up a little bit. They need to uh, see beyond their nose. We need to see more than what we are seeing. Okay. It's just too obvious. Oh, too obvious. Yeah. We have talked about them engaging more young people and letting a lot more young people get involved in the whole uh, Elgon Hub thing, even in the design and participation yeah. and stuff like that. Sure, sure. And then they need to be specific. They need to be specific. According to the chairman here. In terms of roles that roles and play to the young ones, yes. to the youths. They need to be scouting. specific. Very specific. I don't need to do I, I visit the campaign, the campaign pictures, and I go to the county offices, uh, it's them I meet. And then when I come to the Elgon, I'll be the same. Meet the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now, Transoi is an agricultural county with good climate, with water, with uh, fertile soil, I am not so sure about that, but it is agriculture, all right? Agriculture employs about 70% of our, of our people, all right? And then we have this, what you're calling um, um, uh, you, young people participating in agriculture and as, as, as a way of lifting them from the level that they are to another level in terms of empowerment. What is your take on that? Uh, I think the youth should be more open to new ideas, especially on agribusiness. Okay. Uh, it is a venture, a less travel by people. It's all, always uh, practiced by the elderly. I think the youth can take an advantage of that, and then turn agribusiness into a fortune. Okay. Um, Okay. Yeah. So Said we are an agricultural county. 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 Yes. We are just maize farmers. Just <laughs> put us there and give us. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk about the agriculture. What um, maize, maize, maize farming is maize part of farmer. agriculture. It's, Absolutely. It's just like a percentage, a fraction of. A percentage. percentage. Okay. We are not in agriculture because if we are in agriculture, I will see a lot of milk from Transom. Right. Currently, West Pokot, the cabbage which we are is doing more of milk than us. Even Brookside has put some coolers there in Kabich Beach there. I wonder how Kabich Beach, as cold as it is, could be doing more milk than us. So we are not agriculture. If we are agriculture, I will see so many greenhouses and the horticulture plants around. But all I see is maize. And funny enough, as life is going up, everything else is sagging the price. The price of maize is shrinking. So we are not in agriculture, we are maize farmers. And life currently in is more expensive than in Elgon, whereas we are better placed to produce our own than the one we should be Now, How do youth, you young people take advantage of this? Young people, we have the land, right? And the land here is affordable, it's available. There are people who don't have the land, but they are even doing it even, the aquaculture, they are practicing that. Why can't we have them the agriculture with us? The young people can do it, but they, they, they improvise too. The technology, there is a technology, you know, a youth thinks Agriculture is getting dirty. Agriculture is wearing the gumboots and going to the shop. There's a different way of doing agriculture. There's a modern way of doing agriculture. 
it. And currently, the current billionaires are in the tech industry. The next phase of billionaires will become humanity, the agribusiness. So we need to embrace this contractual, contracted farming and water. Okay. But I think our youth, and you can see from, I would say we are not rich and we are not in agriculture because as it is now, you've seen our youth, imagine even Kitale is not good enough for them. You've seen colleges collapsing in Kitale. It means much as we are doing so much, we don't Systems. By the time a college in Kitale is closing down, when we have so much population, but Eldoret doing more than 50 colleges and doing well, then there is a problem. We need to have our youth sit them down because we need to have a round table, serious discussion of how we need to do this thing. And if we go this way in the next 10, 20 years, you know, Transoya will be worse than any other. Okay. Yes, because we are running away from our own and we are not using the resources we have. But I believe we can do very good agriculture, less expensive because the climate is good, the rainfall are adequate okay. and the soil is adequately fertile. Perfect. Yeah. Big maize farmers. Yes. I think we need to be smart. If we intend to do that, we need to be maize farmers. Okay. Because the whole thing is going to be adequate. To have them convinced to go from doing maize doing farmers. Doing maize to do something else. So I, would, uh, I think agriculture and technology equals to a dream life. Because you have everything online, you have all the opportunities online. So you just need to you know, position yourself. And uh, uh, hopefully, Elgon Hub uh, becomes what you're really turning to do. Okay. I think if Elgon Hub uh, yeah. and the county invest in uh, agriculture among the rest, I think we will be our dream life in 2020. Wow. The sentiments of county government. That maize farming in Transoya County has made has made our people very poor. Okay. We lead in maize farming, but we do not lead in agriculture. And this is because uh, our people have been embracing the cultivation of maize since a long time to date. Traditional maize farmers. Traditional maize farmers. But uh, I I appreciate the the coming in of the World Bank marriage program okay. to, to facilitate on the cultivation of hot culture, the macadamia, avocados, and, um, and also I can see they have also advised that, uh, that we grow potatoes. Yeah, I think uh, that will, will eventually help our people grow, it, especially youth. Now that the, the World Bank is actually funding the, the entire Okay. Like they, they are employing a consultant to look after what you are doing, and again they are funding, they, they are taking care of everything that you are planning. So I think with the time, the youths, if they can reorganize themselves better in terms of agriculture, they may be doing very well. Good. And that will improve can their I maybe life. Can I yes, very briefly. You see the read process, the, 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 the program of the world. Yeah. You know, more. Time and again, where, where we have failed and why our governance system has always failed. They always want us to do what they think is good. Yes. You see, did this idea come from the youths or from the World Bank mm -hmm. to the youths of Transoya do this? Do you think it's so sweet for a youth doing avocado? How do you brag to you doing avocado? Youths want to do something that is more gisty. You understand? <laughs> you know, they are just, they want me to do macadamia. You know, I'm like, okay, macadamia. And then, you know, I can't tell somebody I'm a farmer. Macadamia, he doesn't. Can't we be allowed to, to, to do our ideas? What do you like from me? Is this? Yes. As long as the World Bank can come and maybe somehow set boundaries and policies on if you are to do it, this is the minimum, this is what. But you do what you Just to guide. You, you are but the young people lines. choose yes. what they want. And that's where we are going wrong. You see the YYC problem. It picked very well. Why? Because they, are, they were not telling you what to do, they were just helping you how to do it. And that's why even the government, the national government, will still go wrong because they feel like this is where our youths need to be, this is how they want to be, they're supposed to do things, and this is what they're supposed to do. Instead of what you think you can do best, okay. I can only support you, and these are the policies and guidelines of how I can support you on what specific thing you choose to do. Okay. So this one, it might be a good idea, but it might die because it is somebody's idea, trying to be, you know, to be into somebody's dream.